Boolean algebra and logic gates. So we've got the basic logic gates that we're going to be using in this course and how to represent the outputs using the Boolean algebra. So we've got the input of the NOT gate is A, so what we're going to do is we're going to write the output of that as being A with a bar over it. So the bar represents inversion or NOT. We've got A and B going into an AND gate. So what we do is we represent the AND gate with a dot. So we've got A dot B means A and B. The OR gate we represent with a plus sign. So when you see it as A plus B, you should be thinking A or B. Now we've got the NAND gate is an AND gate. The circle here represents inversion. So what we do is we get A and B and then we invert the output. So we put a bar over the whole thing. Same with the NOR gate that we've got A or B and then we put a bar over the whole thing. The exclusive OR gates, as you'll see from the truth tables video, is actually a more complicated expression there. A bit of a compound expression. Let's have a look at some examples. So you might be expected to find the Boolean expression given a logic circuit. And what I tend to do with this, I, I tend to work from the left towards the right there. So let's work our way along. So first of all, what we've got is A and B going into an AND gate. So let's write A and B at the output of these AND gates here. And the next one we've got is NOT C. So we've got C going into the NOT gate. Let me write it here as NOT C. By writing the expressions here, it enables us to keep track of where we are. And then we've got an OR gate here. So what we're going to do is we're going to write A and B OR with NOT C. And notice that I'll put brackets around the A and the B. I tend to put brackets around uh, each, of the, each of the expressions that's going into the OR gate. Helps me keep track of what's going on. This next example here, so first of all, working left to right, the first gate we get to is the NOT gate, so we've got NOT B. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put that through a NOR gate with A. And then we've got B and C going into an OR gate. And then we've got these two expressions, let's put them through the NAND gate here. Another thing you might be expected to do is they might give you a Boolean expression and you've got to draw the logic circuit from that. Now my rule for this is to work from the bottom upwards. So we start off with A, B and C, that's on the bottom line here. The next thing we encounter is NOT A, so let's draw NOT A. NOT A is going to be ORD with B, so we draw that. And again, writing down the expression at every stage. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put that through the NAND gate. So we see we've got the dot for the AND. The bar over the whole thing means NAND. And there we go. That's the first one. This next example would be using, for example, NAND gates throughout. Nothing but NAND gates. So again, we start off, we've got A, B and C on the bottom. Then what we want is we want NOT B and we want B NANDed with C. So we're starting on the bottom line there. The next thing we do, we've got A NAND NOT B, so put those together, so we've got A NAND with NOT B, and then we've got our B NAND C, we're going to invert that again. And notice that we're using a single NAND gate, both of it is connected together, and that creates a NOT gate. And what we're going to do with these is we're going to NAND all of this together. So we've worked from the bottom, going up, going through each of those bars one at a time. 